Good morning everyone. Well, it's Thursday today and I've woken up still feeling a little bit sick. But uh, I know that I've run out of milk. So today uh, for my coffee I've got to try something a little bit different. It'll actually make it probably taste like <laughs> something really good. Because in it, instead of milk, I'm going to put some ice cream. Let's give it a go. I wonder how much ice cream I need to put in there. Now, I always have two things of coffee, two scoops of it. Because this is a pretty big mug. And instead of having two cups, I just use one big cup with two scoops. You see? You see how my mind works? Anyway, let's see if this ice cream in the coffee works. I put in less sugar in the coffee because I knew that the ice cream would have some sugar in it. Well, it's turning whitish. Mmm, smells good. Ooh, yum. Well, it hasn't actually like gone like white or anything. But it's added some colour. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, tastes pretty good. It's giving it a nice vanilla-y sort of flavour. It's cooled it down a little bit too, which helps. Maybe I should just keep putting ice cream in my coffee from now on. I won't even need to buy milk. You see, I just saved more money. Now I normally keep the milk that's in the cardboard box in the cupboard, but I've used all that up. So I'm gonna have to go to the shops and buy some, so. Ah well, good excuse to go. So let's go. <laughs> I just realized I'm still in my pajamas. Ah well, half the people that go to the shops up here are in their pajamas and got no shoes on. It's just our way of life. It's our culture up here in Queensland. Where we don't wear shoes. We wear our pajamas around. We're just so relaxed. That's why I like it up here. We're not uptight like the other states seem to be. Yeah, nice and relaxed up here. We just go about our life and we don't let anyone try and change our way of life because they try to the southern states try to but we don't let them because we're smarter than them oh they'll tell you we're not but we are well at least i am i should have written a shopping list oh that's right i'm working tonight i could have gone to the shops at work while i was there oh well it gives me something to do okay keep going Greg. Now I need some coffee and I tried this one last time and it was really good but it's $18 and I'm waiting for it to go on special half price again so I won't have that one but have a look at this one this one here on half price for $5 Lavazza Intenso so I might give one of these to go see what they're like get one from the back there's a Classico and Intenso I think I'll go the classic go see what that's like 52 cups per thing instant coffee so I'll give that one a go all right check out all the milks we got we got almond milk we got coconut milk soy rice full cream zy mill creamy skim skinny smarter goats Whew. Well, I'll tell you what I don't want to run out again this is on special so I'll grab some of this which I can just keep in the cupboard now, because I'm going overseas, I just want a milk that I can use in the me for about a week's worth. So, where's the one I usually get? Just the full cream, 90 cents for a litre. That'll do. Ooh, a kilo of Milo's, $9. That lasts longer than uh, chocolate. But I'm going overseas, I don't need any Milo right now, but I tell you what, I wish I did need some because I could eat that. This whole tin would probably last me about two weeks actually. It's a very efficient way of getting your chocolate fix without spending a lot of money. Oh, look what I found. Lamington Fingers, $2 for all those. Oh, God, I hate it when I find that stuff. I just wish I could buy it. I mean, I can, but my resilience is too strong. Walk away, Greg, walk away. Oh, yum. 
Have you tried this before? The apple cider, Bundaberg apple cider brewed soft drink. Mate, it is unbelievable. It's probably the best tasting drink on the market. And it's a dollar ten off. I don't need any, so I won't buy it, but tell you what, if you like apple cider, do yourself a favor, get yourself some of that. It is non-alcoholic by the way too. Oh, what's this? Now, here in Queensland, you're not allowed to sell uh, wine or alcohol in the supermarkets. They're uh, outside the supermarkets. But we had these like non-alcoholic wines and champagnes here, which uh, <laughs> who on earth would buy that? I don't know. Although in saying that, I did used to buy this non-alcoholic beer. So I can't really talk, can I? Did you know Coopers? Did you know Coopers, the brand Coopers? It's a, it's an Australian beer, the one that I have. And I just found out recently that Coopers, well, it's family owned, but they are the biggest producer of home brew kits in the world. Did you know that? So there you go. Learn something new every day. Now, there's a lot of things I don't understand, and that's people that buy Coca-Cola or Pepsi, look. It's a dollar eighty for one point two five liters. Why on earth would you spend a dollar eighty when you can get the home brand one for seventy five cents that tastes just as good, if not better? I really don't understand these people that just buy the brand for the brand name because all you're doing is throwing money down the toilet. Another thing I don't understand is people that buy water. Now, why on earth would you buy water? when it comes out of the tap for free. <laughs> Why? Have you seen my long john? There it is. Oh, look, a custard tart for $2.50. Yum! Well, it's lunchtime, and today for lunch, I am having the Salisbury steak that I made a few days ago now. This is the last of it. And if you want to see how to make that, the video is coming up on Monday. Mmm. Tell you what, it turned out really nice. And because I'm working tonight, I need to take some lunch. So I've got this in the freezer, some spag bowl. So I'll defrost that. That can be my dinner for tonight. There you go, you see? How much money did I just save them by not buying stuff? They're buying dinner, buying lunch, it's all stuff that I've already had. Saving money. But later, after lunch, I want to whip down to the canal because I've got this rice that's been in the fridge for quite a while and I don't want to chuck it out, I want to feed it to the fish. So we'll go down after lunch and just feed this to the fish. Wow, that is just perfection. Well, the tide's right up. It's high tide. It's a nice day though. It's a bit cool, a bit on the cooler side. Look how high the tide is. I can just reach over and like touch the water there. There's lots of little fish in here. It's breeding season. So there's lots of little guppies in here. It's baby fish. Hiding under the jetty there. What if they eat rice? I think the rice is about the same size as them, so I doubt it. But something will feed off the bottom and eat it. Hopefully. Oh, the ducks. I think it sinks a bit too fast for you, ducks. Oh, the seagulls. Oh, the magpies. Not too sure, magpies. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.